Welcome back to The Price of Business. I am your host, Kevin Price, talking to you about you and your business. I tell you, you know, uh, drug and alcohol abuse is such a pervasive problem in our culture and has been for years and continues to be. And, and uh, it's really uh, excellent that there's organizations like uh, the one I'm going to spend some time with here in this segment that uh, is on the front lines, particularly helping our youth, and that's Quarterstone Recovery. And uh, Debbie Ortiz is here with us about that. And Debbie, real quickly, kind of tell us about Cornerstone and uh, then introduce our audience to um, your guest today. Thanks, Kevin. We appreciate the opportunity to come and inform people and to raise awareness about addiction because there's still, you know, a stigma out there, even though it's um, really alarming proportions that families are dealing with this issue. And I just want to, before I introduce our guest wanted to mention that I did have an opportunity to attend our Thanksgiving gratitude meeting. And it is such an emotional meeting because there are all these families whose lives have just been devastated by the disease and they have been learning to cope with it. And they are so grateful for Cornerstone Recovery and the community, you know, it's like a safe haven for them. And they learn how to establish boundaries and the parents do. And then the kids get the tools that they're going to need And uh, it's just what really opened my eyes to the miracles that I see every day with families who are able to get through these hard times and really come out better and stronger for it. Yeah, awesome. Tell us about your guest today. All right. This is Craig Taylor. He's a member of our board, and I've had the privilege of working with him. Uh, So, Craig, why don't you just tell us what brought you to Cornerstone Recovery? Thanks, Debbie. I am in recovery. I got sober about five years ago, and... I knew nothing about recovery at the time. I was fortunate to have a friend who knew somebody and was able to put me in contact with them. That person got me involved into a 12-step program. And, uh, you know, the the rest is kind of history. As they say, uh, I have benefited immensely from recovery. Uh, My life has changed in so many positive ways. And... Uh, through that process, a big part of recovery is actually giving back, and that's that's what is part of my continuing recovery. And so I wanted to get involved with some organizations where I could apply my skill set and, and be a benefit and, and reach out to the broader community. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so what specifically about Cornerstone was was compelling to you? Well, Cornerstone works with adolescents and families, and when I needed help, I didn't really know where to go. And 12-step programs, by their very nature, are anonymous. Mm -hmm. And uh, parents, adolescents that are facing these types of issues, they I believe that there needs to be a public face out there for recovery. There needs to be um, more information out there, more resources that are more widely available uh, to people so that they can they know that there is help and that there are there there are organizations and people uh, available that that can uh, help them recover from a seemingly hopeless situation. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah, Debbie, uh, Craig, you and I got to work on our Sporting Clays fundraising event. And um, once you tell our listeners what other ways that you are able to contribute. Well. I'm a big believer uh, in in financial support, so we have various um, uh, events. Uh, we have a big breakfast. We have Monsters and Miracles. We have the the Sporting Clays events, and all of those things cost money to put on. So mm-hmm. uh, I'm I'm a believer in financially supporting those, but I'm also on the board, and uh, I like to give my time. Um, it would seem that uh, that I'm just giving of my time, and it's a one-way street. But in reality, I get so much back from participating, and I have uh, learned that uh, being a part of the community, uh, giving back, uh, that I get more out of it than I think than the organization gets. So, being involved. Uh, trying to reach out to those and and to hopefully be able to provide a path for somebody to receive what was so freely given to me is it it's it's what really kind of makes me happy these days. Mm-hmm. So um how long have you been on the board now? I've been on the board for almost 3 years. Very good. By the way, I do want to mention the website for Cornerstone Recovery is cornerstonerecovery.org. Debbie Uh, Can you tell me what you think some of the benefits to other businesses might be to get involved with Cornerstone or other nonprofit organizations? Sure. Uh, 
I'm in the energy business. I've been in the energy business for a little over 20 years, um, obviously a big industry for Houston. And there are so many people just like me that um, at some point in their life, for me it happened in my early 40s, that uh, my, uh, my everything on the outside looked looked good. Uh, my, my job, my marriage, everything. But um, my drinking had, had become an issue and I, and I knew it. So through, through my participation in this, I, I've met a lot of other people in other industry, in, in the energy industry and other industries. And it's amazing to me, uh, the philanthropy in this town. And, and I will tell you that, um, I think when, when people participate in their community personally and through their businesses, that the whole community benefits and, when the whole community benefits, businesses thrive. And I think that message gets through. I think that the business leaders in this town, since I've been involved in 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 more volunteer efforts, I'm actually on a couple of different boards. Um, I, I think that I can see the, I can step back and see the, the macro sort of picture in that when communities benefit, businesses benefit, it's a mutually beneficial situation. Yeah, very good. Cornerstone Recovery is cornerstonerecovery.org. I really encourage you to check it out, especially if you've got an adolescent uh, in your life. Um, and if by chance you're an adolescent listening to a business show, I, I say props to you, but you may be uh, <laughs> one who uh, might even struggle with these issues. It's a great resource, a great organization to check out. I think it's a game changer. And part of the reason why is because of great board members like Craig Taylor. And Craig, uh, thanks for uh, sharing your story today. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. You bet. Debbie, good to see you again. Thank you, Kevin. Check it out. Uh, CornerstoneRecovery.org. And I'm Kevin Price, and you're listening to The Price of Business.